At four months old, Jordan Daniel was diagnosed with neuroblastoma, an aggressive form of childhood cancer. Doctors at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital prescribed a tough regimen of chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. Eight months later, Jordan was cancer-free. St. Jude is, is um, an amazing place. They, um, they've given us life. Without them, my child would not be here. Indeed, when entertainer Danny Thomas opened St. Jude in 1962, childhood cancer survival rates were far from encouraging. For example, the survival rate for kids with neuroblastoma in 1962 was 10%. Today, the survival rate is more than 55%. Nearly 6,000 patients are seen every year at the Memphis Hospital. Doctors at St. Jude have treated children from all 50 states and around the world and no family is ever turned away because of inability to pay. St. Jude has more than 3,600 employees. Dr. Lisa McGregor has been one of Jordan's primary physicians since his diagnosis. Ah, real big. What have you been eating that turns your tongue orange? Hmm? Patty patties. <laughs> patty patties? Dr. McGregor describes her work as a calling with great rewards. People say, oh, you work at St. Jude, how, how sad that must be. And it's really not a sad place at all. It's a very happy place. It's a place of success stories of kids like Jordan, and that's what keeps me going. The hospital's daily operating cost is $1.7 million, and most of the funding is from private donations. Of course, the marathon is a major fundraiser, but all throughout the year, those whose lives have been touched by St. Jude Children's Research Hospital hold a variety of fundraisers on their own. That's why the Pediatric Cancer Support Group is out here at the flea market. They're selling items. All the proceeds go to St. Jude. In our next installment, we'll check in with Jordan to see how he is getting race day ready. Running for Jordan, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.